Hey YouTube, how you guys doing? My name is Kyle, you know me as Dragonmar, and welcome to a new video. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at a gold 2 Sage VOD, and what kind of stuck out to me when I was looking over the VODs is, this was a 9-3 to half, and they end up losing. Sorry, spoilers, but I want to see what happened and see if I can give some advice, because uh, Turtles you know, pretty much said, I don't know what to do, right? So what could have been done differently? How do you lose a 9-3 half, especially on Yo, defense on split, um, which, you know, used to be extremely defender-sided. So let's take a look here. Remember, guys, if you do enjoy the video, of course, you know, leave a like, subscribe, comment for more. And remember, I still want you to submit your VODs in Discord. If you guys want your VOD reviewed like how Turtles is right now, submit your VOD in Discord, link down below. All right, let's take a look here. So start off with the opening kill with Ray's Going to play the wall here, this uh, diagonal wall. Probably not super important um, to wall this early. Uh, I feel like you can wait for contact in wall as well. That would be my suggestion. Just because, you know, that way you can maybe... F yeah. it's, it's a tough decision, but nonetheless, you do get one kill there. So at least you trade out your life. Um, that's always a tough fight when you're fighting multiple people running out of heaven like that. Could have been better off. Uh, trying to maybe just get one and, and, and hide or even just play your life there on site. That way teammates can come help support you in heaven as well. Um, that way you can kind of converge on them. Because as you see, if I scroll back here really quick. So here you are. Oop, I'm muted. So you're taking these fights and see how you're just getting overwhelmed. If you would have played your life, maybe your Reyna or your Yoru could have come out to support you as well. Obviously, a one-for-one trade isn't horrible. All right, so you guys lose the first round. Like I said, the wall thing, I normally would wall on contact or once I hear noise. That way, the wall is not being wasted. In this case, uh, it works out because there were going to be players coming that way. Okay, good job. You know, you're just being patient. You're on a classic. Not much you're going to do here. They kind of run over your team uh, with specters essentially the only way you're going to win this round is with some more early aggression or playing off of uh like crossfires with your teammates that way as they start running into your site you guys are able to actually fight them and not just kind of let them mow you down one by one right whenever you're playing um and you are on an eco against specters especially second round after pistol it's all about using those classics together because you just don't have the power or the fire rate to be able to 1v1 them for the most part all right round three starting here nine to five all right, so the lead is shrinking, but we are in a gun round. So there's the wall in mid, gets broken immediately. Now, this is what you guys want to do. Whenever there is a sage wall in mid on split, you should always break it as long as it's safe to do so. You never want to let that wall form because by destroying part of the wall, you're applying pressure. You make it so at any point, someone can walk through that, and now the defense has to respect that. So it's very important to break that. As you can see, Turtle here is stuck. Or not stuck, but he is watching it. And same with the rays as well, making sure no one comes through. Otherwise, they could just turn around and you know do other things. In the meantime, players are dying all over the place. We're still hanging out here in heaven. Looks like Viper used some utility here. So now Turtle has to check mail. And as this is happening, Yoru is gonna go look into A. And we're just going to play this angle. I do enjoy this angle. I think this is a really good one, especially if you're confident in your aim. You can catch people off guard here pretty, pretty, pretty often, I would say. Uh, I definitely got my fair share of kills. Now, the problem is, as time passes, you kind of wonder, can they be sneaking into B? But nope, looks like the spike is going to go down. One player spotted on ramp, right? So that's what you want to remember. There was a player on ramp. Now a player spotted heaven. Looks like the rain is there as well. That's both of them. I would have rotated earlier. Uh, I think this is the first misplay we see from Turtle for sure. Um, you want to keep running to support your teammate. Worst case scenario, maybe they run back and get a plant on B, but at least you're there to support your teammate. Now with the Viper ultimate down, this round is nearly impossible. This is a very difficult situation to be in because the Viper can play inside of this the entire time. And the Reyna can play around it. And then suddenly you've got to choose how you're going to go in and at what time. Normally when a, a Viper roll goes down like that, I just spray through it. Because it is it is so difficult to pinpoint where they're going to be. Especially in a 2v1. So unfortunately I think a little misplay there on the rotation. Um, as, as you definitely wanted to be over there earlier. Alright, so Sage Wall in mid to start this round off. The wall will go down. Going to heal up a teammate as well. But again, because we've been losing these rounds. Now we're on, you know... A light buy, maybe a force. We've got 
Looks like a ghost down there. Sheriff. And there's a judge up close. Now, it looks like the enemy team does want to push out. But with smoke, with slow and everything, they might actually fall back. Um, and that would render your, your judge on your omen completely useless, which is always a frustrating thing. You know, sometimes it's actually worth not using utility, letting the enemy team think they can walk into a site when you have a judge player. Uh, somehow the omen dies to a jet point blank when he has a shotgun. Your shots there. Uh, I think you do land two of them. Fortunately, it could not hit the third. And let's see here. So 3v5. Obviously, this round is already looking very, very bad. Uh, you're going to need to pick. Um, and probably you're gonna need their weapon as well. And unfortunately it looks like here comes the flank and you guys will lose this round as well. So again, the note on this round was if your, your omen is playing judge, maybe you don't slow that and just let them come out of his smoke. That way he might be able to get a free kill, right? Nonetheless though, it is nine to seven here. Enemy team using utility over on a, your Yoru has an op. He's going to take down one player, put you guys up. And another. In this round, you did wall mid as well. Looks like one player has made it up ramp. That was uh, pretty bad slow. Also, you know, I don't think you really even need to slow that um, necessarily. It's not like there was any imminent threat of someone running through. You know, you want to fight those people. Obviously, if you're slowing them to try to get the easier shots, understandable. But, you know, to take, a, take such a low... High risk, low reward throw like that where you're jumping and throwing it. I don't know. This seems a little bit silly to me. Maybe just take an extra second to line it up. Because the worst thing you could do there is have that bounce back, hit a teammate, slow them, and then they die because of you, right? You definitely don't want that to happen. But it looks like this round should be in the bag here. Sky, the only player remaining. Um, the other team has been doing a good job of splitting up sites, as you guys have noticed. They've been going B, they've been going A, they've been going B, coming up mid. Um, it's good to apply that kind of pressure. Keeps the other team honest, right? Makes them have to play all different kinds of positions here. As you see, people are kind of split up. You've got a low health raise that you're now coming to heal. And there's the spot. Gonna miss the spray. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, I, I understand you're kind of just shooting just to see if they'll walk back into it there. But a little bit messy on those shots, nonetheless. You might want to try to just clean that up a little bit. Take your time. Okay, so we went around there, right? 10-7 now, gonna wall mid again. The only problem is the other team has probably built up a pretty hefty economy. They've been winning a lot of rounds in a row. Let's see what the plan is here. A lot of utility going down on B. I'd like to see a rotate here. I'd like to see a rotate. You were kind of slow there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll this one back. Take a look at this. Look at the mini map. You're seeing utility go down, okay? You're seeing a deep leer and then two players spotted. I'd have liked to have seen you move the second you saw that first leer. Get out, get over, help your teammates, um, especially on the cross. But dropping down here, 4v2, spike down in the back of sight, player in the back of sight as well. And the last one, garage. So your team did a good job there, was able to handle it. But still, again, I think you were a little bit late on the rotation, right? These are the small things that we want to work on because it could make the difference in a later round. All right, 11 to 7. You guys are in striking distance here of winning. Another wall mid. Again, your Ray's playing on A. You got your Omen up close smoke, and you are in mid. There goes the Killjoy ult. So here, good rotate, going nice and early, not waiting around. Ray's makes a nice play there. Pushes into the ultimate, gets a kill, and gets out. You almost block her. Don't do that. Okay. So one of you got detained, which is not good. One player up close, sky flashing as well, so you know at least two are here. Again, throwing a slow. That one was okay. And a 3v3 now. One orb off of ult as well. So res here could be massive. Reyna will take a kill though. Put you guys in a 3v2 now. So now you've got to think, are these guys going to rotate? And it looks like they are judging off for your Yoru. So this would be a good time to run. And right now, personally, what I would do here, yeah. Oh, I don't even know when that Reyna got back there, but that was not good. Um, what I was going to say is whenever you're rotating over to A to stop the plant 
or to stop a rotation. Generally, I like to go lower in those situations and leave upper um, to my teammates because I find that when you go lower, you can kill them off of the drop. But hey, look at that team does win the round 12 7 here. So 9 3. You guys started losing pretty badly there for a second, but you're pulling it back now. 12-7 match point. Let's see how you guys end the game. All right, so again, for like probably the sixth time, I'd say we've seen this mid wall. The other team is going to let it go down as well, right? So this is where the problems start. Now, you already have the opening pick. You also have a res. So right here, I'm saying I want to win this game. I'm going to play back a little. I'm going to play for my res. I'm going to play off utility, play for my heal, help my team. If you die early here... You're taking away one of the best chances you have at winning this round and winning the game, which is using your res. So let's see what your decision making is as you move forward in this round. All right, Yoru gets another kill. 3v5 now. Okay, so Reyna gets on to B. So right now, that, that potentially could be a res option. Reyna still spotted, player down. Okay, you see her jumping. I doubt she'll repeat this. Oh no. So the res was fine. The only problem is the the awareness and maybe the teamwork there. Not sure how a jet was able to get there. Let's let's rewind really quick. Let's just see what happens. So Raze is running up. Rain is spotted. About three seconds pass, four seconds pass. And then a jet is behind her. So jet was somewhere in mid. Rays did not check or see or hear. And Jess was able to get up and get very, very free kills there. And unfortunately, you guys do also lose this round. So I think in situations like that, you've just got to remember, okay, I've got teammates watching down on site. My Rays just came from mid. Potentially someone could have followed her in. So I'm not going to completely blame you for that. But because your other teammates were already looking down into B site, you could have watched that flank from mid um, if you were able to kind of take note of, hey, my teammate's doing this. I'll do the other thing, right? I'll cover the other angle. But nonetheless, 12 to 8, 4v4. We'll see what happens here. Viper has an ult. So if Viper is able to get into a site, that's going to be difficult for you guys. But thankfully, Reyna here able to take Viper out nice and early. She'll go for an aggressive peek and die. So now it's a 3v3. Just going to hold here. Crosshair placement looks pretty good. This is the a, a good spot to hold. But unfortunately there, what happens? Right, Sky sees you first. We'll rewind. Sky sees you first. Right there sees you. You back up. Boom. She's ready to fight. It takes the headshot on you. See that? See how you were... You were you didn't take that initial fight. She set. She got ready for you. You walked right back into it, right? And that's just kind of a game of cat and mouse. Who's going to get that shot off as the other person strafes? And unfortunately, she was able to. All right, so it's 12 to 9 now. Um, again, going for the wall mid. That wall will get broken, like I've been saying. Very important for the attackers to destroy that wall every chance they get. You always want to apply pressure in mid. Omen playing around smokes over there on B. Which is kind of a funny thing to do, since I've done that too. Um, now, the Bucky play here, personally, if you're going to run a Bucky, I don't think you want to drop down like this. Unless maybe you're playing in the corner, <clears throat> in the opposite corner from where he is currently. I personally would stay up top and try to play around that box. Because you need to be such... Yeah, it was exactly for that reason. Because of the way the catwalk is shaped, they can just kind of walk around and check from so many different angles. And that mouse angle, the way you're going to have to whip your arm around to get those kills is going to be difficult. I did not like the positioning for your weapon there. I think that was a misplay. All right, 12 to 10. Things are heating up here. After a 9-3 half, the other team has done very well and is bringing this back. Okay, a lot of utility going down onto A. Crucial here for Yoru to stay alive. That's very bad. Yep, you, you definitely have to back off, back up off of that. Sky definitely knows you guys are there. That slow doesn't really help you. That that should have been a bit deeper, in my opinion. Okay, I think that one's a little bit better. The only problem is how do you get up this rope without getting shot? Um Reyna is going to take down your omen. Now it's a 2v5. Unfortunately, this is looking very, very grim. All right, the rope kill. I, I kind of like that play. This Viper with a very quick shot onto your Reyna, though. 
and it looks like you are probably going to okay. go back to save. And unfortunately, a player was there with a flank, a smart flank from the jet. And that brings us to 12, 11, potentially pushing uh, for overtime. So one thing, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but uh, they're kind of getting into sites a little bit too easily, I think. Um, the opening pick has definitely been going in the favor of the attackers, especially when they're taking sites right there. The opening pick went to them, but Reyna was able to even things out. So we'll see how this round plays out now. Obviously a pretty deep sage wall. So that's going to give you a good idea of if they're pushing up. Reyna, another nice kill. So we know they're in sight, right? That was a jet probably dashed into sight there. I personally would be trying to support my Reyna right now. Um, I think, yeah, you got to go down here. Because this is, in my opinion, this is just a way more important spot to control to help your Reyna. I, I like this. I like that you're trying to move away from that, from the enemy Reyna with her ultimate. That is a tough fight to take with a Sheriff. Again, your Reyna does a really nice job of staying alive here. That is exactly what she needed to do. Unfortunately, she had no support. No one was able to go out and help her. No one was able to create a crossfire. And her good work is all for nothing, right? And, and that's part of the problem we're seeing in this game is that, you know, they're getting into these sites and there's not the support needed to help the, uh, to help your teammates. All right. And nine, three first half goes into overtime as the enemy nine threes back. Here we are 12 to 12, a big attack over here towards a Omen using his utility. Well, smokes are down. He's going for a teleport. I don't like that play, but let's see what happens. All right, there's the Reyna. Ooh, a little bit. Ooh, that was very dangerous there. Falling off of the ledge there. I know you didn't mean to, but I've seen that happen too many times. Almost took your spray away. Now you have ult, which you got, or you have wall. Excuse me. What you got to do is you have to walk, uh, walk along the left side wall and then wall off CT. Let's see if you're able to do it. In my opinion, that's what I would do. Um, because that'll that'll allow us to get a nice plant down. Most likely, they're not on Rathers above you as long as your Yoru is able to check. So you've got to make a move here. No. See, this is the more dangerous play. It does work out, I think, because Reyna was pressuring up there on ramp. But in that, in my opinion, in this situation, you walk along the wall, you wall, and then you run over on elbow. And uh, no, I don't think you wall this. I, personally, I feel like you wall CT here, but let's see what the plan is. Is it 3v1? I don't know about that. That seems kind of wasteful, in my opinion. This is going to feel really bad if you guys lose this round. All right, 2v1. Killjoy had, I think it was an Odin for some reason. All right, you guys do win the round, thankfully. Uh, I'm not quite sure about that wall placement and definitely risky to run backwards, um, uh, you know, in, in full view of heaven there. 13-12, though. A chance to win the game now. Let's see what happens. Wall mid, broken instantly. I think the slow here is smart. You don't want to let these guys walk through for free. It looks like the jet dashed, though. Oh, and you just get tagged up, you get slowed, and that is the end of it. And that's the problem um, when you're playing against a jet that has been dashing into things so often. You've just got to be more aware and be like, hey, this person can dash across my slow, and I've got to be prepared for it. It looks like there she caught you a little bit off guard. The tags there were big to slow you down, and they just get a free kill on you as you're trying to run away. All right, here we go. Switching sides. OT number two, 13-13. KJ with the insta-kill. Looks like your teammate peaked before the smoke went down, so I have no sympathy for them. Gotta wait for your smoke for your, your teammate smoke to land. Nice kill there. That first shot looked like it hit the ground, but you look at the headshot with some decent crosshair placement. This is looking good. 4v3 here. You guys just play smart. You should be able to win this. Now, one person probably should go into garage there. Um fighting this angle long like this, not very fun. You don't even need to watch it the whole time. That was a, <laughs> that was very close. You could leave it open to support your teammates. Uh, personally, what I do is I just check it every now and then, and, and more so I help with the heaven push. Oh no, two players on your screen and you're not able to kill either. Uh, let's take a quick watch of that one more time here. So watch, you're gonna turn the corner, you're gonna see two, you're gonna target. It looks like the Killjoy, but the Viper is in front. She moves to the side, Killjoy's able to get away. That is one of those situations where you just got to guarantee a kill somehow. Um, go for the easy one. You know, go for the easy. The easy is always going to be the closer player. 
And I think they're a slight misplay on who you were shooting. All right, so switching things up here on defense, gonna be moving over towards Egg with the early wall. Again, early walls are getting broken easily. Jet again with the very fast push does get the kill. And now you guys are down a player early on. 13 to four match point here in overtime number two. Viper with a very annoying smoke. I'd be very surprised if someone was pushed up that far. Oh, there definitely are, though. Let's see if someone pushes through. Looks like someone might have. Viper's up top, and yeah. So, right here, what happens, this is a pretty simple round of breakdown. Early, early push. You fall back, you slow. Reyna gets aggressive, dies to the jet that has been pushing like every round. You get a slowdown. You stop their push. Now your teammates have to support. Your raise has to come support from heaven. Your omen needs to rotate quicker. Your Yoru is on a flank, so you have to delay. You have to delay because you need that Yoru to get value. If you don't delay, the Yoru gets no value, right? You take a fight, you kill the jet, but at this point, they're already through. They're already planting. They're already on site, and your Yoru is not quick enough because you weren't able to delay long enough. And unfortunately, you guys will lose the game off of this. And like you said, this was a 9 three first half so you guys lost you know in a, in a pretty unfortunate way but what did we see from your gameplay we saw your walls getting broken instantly quite often right so that tells me is there a better way to use your wall in these games should you be playing more reactionary rather than proactive with your walls that is something to consider on top of that we also saw you were a little bit slow sometimes on your rotates that's also something to consider you don't want to be rotating too slow in a lot of these situations and another thing i would say is i want you to pay more attention to your mini map right having that game sense to focus on where your teammates are and where the enemy is and being able to react quicker but also to know where to look where to pay attention to on things like when they were pushing into B, you weren't quite quick enough on the rotate. Or when you were resing your teammate, noticing that they were already covering the angle down on site. Maybe you should watch where they just came from for, for the flank. Things like that are going to be very important. Aside from that, though, I think you have decent aim. Like, I don't think your aim is the problem. I think this was a, a, a breakdown in your team's ability to position, to rotate, and to play together. And to understand how to fight against such an aggressive player like the Jet, who was able to get a lot of early picks and apply a lot of early pressure. So I think that is the main takeaway in this game is you've got to learn how to deal with these aggressive players and the best way to deal with them, uh, uh, use the wall, use your slows and fall back and create crossfires. So there's trades. You're going to notice on a lot of the uh, rounds you lost, you were not able to get the trades necessary, whether it was you or your teammates. So if you ask me why you guys lost, you guys weren't able to trade properly on defense and you weren't able to slow down a lot of their aggressive pushes. Remember, what was happening was they were taking sites and no one was there to create crossfires because you guys were playing too passive. So that, in my opinion, is why you guys lost the game. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope that was useful to you. It was really interesting to kind of see how defense fell apart. I appreciate you for submitting that. It was a good VOD to review. So thanks so much for watching, guys. If you guys enjoyed, hey, leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. Remember, submit those VODs in Discord, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy, and peace.